Sweet proteins are what I would call a game-changing technology in sweetness. We've been working on this problem forever. We've loved sweetness forever, but we've never had access to sweet proteins in a way that we can rebuild our food and beverage products around until Oobly. So it's basic biology for us to love sweets. We just weren't designed for the reckless abundance of sugar we currently have in our diets. Almost 40% of the U.S. population is either diabetic or pre-diabetic, and this comes from how much sugar we eat in our diet. The recommended daily allowance for sugar is around 30 grams per day, and Americans on average eat between 70 and 100 grams. That's two to three times more leading to diabetes as well as other adverse health conditions. We want everyone to enjoy that sweetness, but in a much healthier way. We have a groundbreaking alternative, which is sweet proteins. The sweet proteins are just that. They're proteins that taste sweet, and they're very different from sugar, which is a carbohydrate. And carbohydrates and, and other what we call small molecules, things like aspartame, uh, sucralose, these are all very tiny molecules relative to proteins. And so what happens when you eat too much sugar is it bombards the taste receptors in your mouth, as well as all of those same taste receptors in your gut, telling your body to make insulin. And when your body makes too much insulin, it loses its ability to make insulin, and that's type 2 diabetes. So that's part one. Part two is you're a walking, talking fermenter, just like these guys. You have a microbiome, and when it gets that sugar, it has an imbalance and growth, and so you can get tolerability issues. Um, the same is true with small molecule sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose that were designed by chemists to look a lot like sugar. And so you get that same sweetness response, but without the calories. The problem is they're still small molecules and they are still able to pass through your soft tissues, trigger insulin response, but also affect your gut microbiome. So sweet proteins are different because they're made up of chains of amino acids. And these chains of amino acids have primary, secondary, and tertiary structures, meaning they fold up. And that folding, that three-dimensional structure gives them the function, in this case, a function of sweetness when they touch those same T1R2 and T1R3 taste receptors. And so when we eat them, they unfold and they lose that structure as we break them down into their constituent peptides and amino acids. And then we reuse those to make more proteins for our body. But the cool thing about that is they don't touch those taste receptors in our gut. They just digest normally like proteins and don't affect your blood insulin level, your blood glucose level, or your gut microbiome. We need far less of them than we need of sugar to sweeten our product. Take sodas, which uh, on average have some 72 grams of sugar, which looks a lot like these 18 sugar cubes. That's a lot of sugar just to sweeten your soda. And so for us, we can take some tens of milligrams of our oobly fruit sweet protein to give the same amount of sweetness that you see in these 18 sugar cubes. And that is exactly how we sweeten our sweet iced teas. But the cool thing is, is they work with any other protein too. So if this is not the protein that you want to rely on for most of the protein in your diet, but it is the protein that you want your sweetness from. We've known about sweet proteins for a long time. Culturally, we've learned about these from the different peoples that have grown up around these sweet berries and fruits. Sweet proteins co-evolved with us to trick us into thinking they tasted like sugar but they've been limited to the places that they naturally grow, mostly tropical regions around the equator. And uh, they're spectacularly hard to get to. Most of them grow up in the canopy of, of rainforests and are very difficult to, to farm at large scale. So rather than do that, we've harnessed precision fermentation, which is a lot like brewing beer or making wine uh, to produce these in large tanks, which can go anywhere on the planet. And this is a solution not just that doesn't threaten our planet from a sustainability perspective, it also enables us to produce these proteins at a scale and at a cost that's meaningful to get them in products uh, that everyone in the world can have access to. Oobly is the first company to commercialize these proteins and bring them in products that people can buy. For Oobly, that starts with the Oobly fruit, sweet protein, which scientists refer to as braising. It has a sweetness that's very much like sugar and, and one that's been enjoyed in West Africa for thousands of years. The miracle berry, uh, which makes miraculin, they call it the miracle berry because it has the ability to do many miraculous things. 
Each one of these uh, plants is unique in, in how it produces uh, sweet proteins and which sweet proteins. There are several species that do in fact make sweet proteins. And that's great for us uh, as they present different proteins or different tools to do different jobs as sugar is in many forms across our food and beverages. Precision fermentation is a climate positive process. For every 1% of sugar reduction we get the world over, that 650,000 acres of sugarcane we didn't have to plant or grow. That 650,000 acres that we can either plant uh, more nutritious crops to feed the world or regrow our rainforest so that our planet can breathe again. So at Ubli, we've completed safety studies uh, on our proteins to the highest recommended standards uh, in collaboration with the FDA. But again, these are proteins. They are sweet proteins, but they are in fact proteins. And so we already know a lot about proteins and how the body digests them. And these are no different. I'm excited about the revolution that is sweet proteins, this game-changing technology in sweet proteins that can change the way you experience sweetness in a wonderful way, in a way that's great for your mouth and your taste buds, but also wonderful for your body. I'm excited for you to get out and try our products.